The following program contains medical procedures. Channel 9 recommends parental guidance. I'm confident, yes, I'm confident. Tonight on RPA. To say I'm not frightened, well, that wouldn't be true because I wouldn't be normal. No, I think Dolores you... returns for a checkup six months after losing her voice box. Hi, everybody. I just don't know how much longer I can deal with it, so. Claire's tolerance is tested as her baby fights for space with a liver swollen by cysts. It just grates away at you to the point where each day I just think I can't do this anymore. I can't knit. I find a lot of little household chores difficult. A surgical solution to Heather's crippling arthritis. So I can move that one. That's right, but I can't. Your joints are fairly badly damaged. And Nick was close to death when his car hit a telegraph pole. Hi, Nichols. Hi, Nicholas. Hi, Nicholas. Returns with his father to meet the surgeon who saved his life. You don't remember me, do you? No, I don't. I don't. Nice to meet you. Finally. I remember um, you. And I remember your father very well. Yeah, I remember you. Yeah. Well, how are you feeling? Better every day. I get angry, upset, disappointed. But, you know, I'm feeling better every day. Good. It's becoming easier and easier to cope. I mean, apart from your head injury, you had fractured ribs and broken collarbone and your jaw. Mm -hmm. And that's all healed up? Yeah. Have you still got difficulty seeing things that's yeah. still there? Yeah, that's I still there. That would be. Unfortunately, I think that's likely to be a permanent problem and that you'll never be able to see things properly on the right side of your field of vision. What about your memory? How's that going? Slowly. You it's slowly getting coming better. back. Yeah, but it's still to the point where if I don't reinforce things to myself, then I just won't remember them. Right. Do you remember being in Prince Alfred Hospital no, at all? No, not at all. Do you remember anything leading up to the accident? Like, do you remember that day? I don't remember about two, three days before that day. Don't you? No. Yeah. Well, it's probably a good thing for you you don't remember because you were so sick. I mean, you know, you really ne nearly died and uh, you're very lucky to have survived the, the injury. Um, I think the fact that you've got what's called a post-traumatic amnesic period that is about uh, 25 days indicates what a severe head injury it was. Um, but, you know, you're young and uh, you've made a fantastic recovery and I think you will continue to improve. I mean, people improve from this sort of injury for up to 18 months. Now, I'd just like to have a look at that skull defect because that's the main reason you're here to see me, to uh, get yeah, that fixed I'd, up for I'd you. I'd like to get that back in as yeah. soon as possible. Sure would. Well, the wound's healed up quite well. We've still got your bone and we've been preserving it in the deep freeze for you. So we'll be able to get that back and shouldn't be a problem fitting that in. OK, well, I can make the booking today okay. and get that organised for you. Um, and you should come out of it as good as new. We'll have to give you another haircut, of course. Oh, that's fine. Well, seems to be doing pretty well. It's a bit of a miracle, isn't it? Well, we sort of thought it'd get to this, didn't we? That we'd get late in pregnancy and you'd start to get uncomfortable. Well, trust me, we're past uncomfortable. Uncomfortable is <laughs> good. Well, let me have a look at your baby while we talk. You can see there's your baby. There's your baby's head. All right. And then you can see just how close things are. If I just rock the transducer back and forward, you can see that there's your liver cyst and there's your baby there. So they're yeah. certainly talking to each other, aren't they? Well, they've met. Yeah. They're not really getting on all that well. No. To be honest with you, I'm not sure how much relief you're going to get from what we're going to do today. So is there any point in doing it? Well, I think we have to try. I think we have to see how we go with this drainage and how we go over the next few days with your comfort when you're away from troublemakers like yourself yeah, and no, the I kids. Fully understand that. <laughs> uh, 
In fact, I'm thinking you can have her as long as you like. Yeah, no, yeah. we'll only keep her for a couple of weeks. Right. Thank you, darling. I'm oh, sorry, but... Look, your baby's even frowning. <laughs> but, uh, it'd be nice with a baby which is 34 weeks to get another week. Oh, I've been struggling to get yeah. all of them, so, I mean, that's, yeah. that's my aim, too. Yeah. I mean, it'd be lovely to get to, to 30... Seven weeks, but I don't think we're going to uh, last that long. You're just totally fed up. Oh, it's not fair. It's, no, all up, it's, not. it's only all up to you, Claire. I know. Well, it is. I mean, we're looking after you and we're looking after your baby. And what we're going to see with you resting on the water is we are going to try and squeeze a bit more time out. I mean, that, that is the aim. But uh, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Okay. Simple as that. Hmm. I'm sure I'm going to suffer too with you in hospital. <laughs> well, I can ensure that. <laughs> now, what's Dr. Besser going to do today? Crania, craniaplasty. Mm -hmm. Now, have you got any prosthesis in? Have you got a hip or a knee replacement? No contact lenses, hearing aid, no spare parts? No. <laughs> okay. okay and I'm, I'm, I'm slowly developing a spare tyre, if that counts. <laughs> Aren't we all? Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to just move you in a little bit closer, mm -hmm. just into the anaesthetic room. Okay. okay. And the anaesthetist is going to have a bit of a go at me, is he? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> here we go, Dolores, come on in. Just have a seat over here, if you will. Thank you. Well, it's six, six months now since you had your operation and, um, what, three months since you finished your radiotherapy. Yes, that's right. And, um, I mean, you're, you're speaking reasonably well. How, how do you feel about your speech? The day quite happy. <laughs> so it hasn't, it hasn't been perfect, has it? It's been intermittent and... Yes. Sometimes it's good. And um, not so good. No, and unfortunately it's a bit unpredictable. But are you comfortable that at least you can communicate? Oh, yes. Very good. OK. You certainly look well and there's no sign that your cancer has come back and I think to have reached that milestone at six months is very good. What we know about these tumours is that if they are going to come back, the majority come back within 12 months and nearly all of them that are going to come back, come back within two years. So it's still early days for you but the fact that you've made it to six months without any, any sign of recurrence is very good. I sometimes wonder. If I would get there. But then I... said that I would get there. And I got there. Yeah. Slowly but surely, I will get there. Yes, I think you will. And what about the cigarettes? Do you miss the fags? Do you ever find you're dying for a cigarette? Not really. Any advice to smokers? Definitely. Don't smoke. It's not worth it. And to be honest with you, it's really a very dirty habit. Yeah, well, you've paid a very big price, unfortunately. But I, I think you're doing marvellously. You've been very courageous. Things aren't perfect with the voice and the swallowing. And if they don't improve of their own accord, I think we can do a couple of little things to help you. But I'd rather not, I'd rather not do any of that straight away. I think we should leave you alone and let you get on with your life a little bit, um, as okay. long as you feel that you're coping okay. You're the boss. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 can, can I cover my feet here? Yes, yes. You need cold? Yeah, my feet have a tendency of getting cold. Yeah, the blanket? Very quickly. Yeah, we'll let you cross them. Okay. And we'll uncross them too later. <laughs> All right, now, Nick, um, we're going to shave your hair off. You know yeah. that, don't you? Yes, I do. Okay, and you want all of it off? Yes, please. All right, and you're going to stay awake for that? Yes, please. Okay, we'll get on with that. That was one of my regrets at the start, you know. They shaved my head. Yeah. And when I woke up, it had already grown back, and oh. I've never seen myself with a shaved head. 
just get you ready. Well, while I'm going to shave your head, yeah. we're going to put a, um, a drip in your arm. Okay. Okay? Yep. By the way, even the sideburns can go. Even the sideburns? Even the sideburns can and go. How does that feel? Oh, this feels all right. Somebody's trying to find you a mirror so you can have a look at yourself. Oh, well, yes, please. That would be nice. All right, you just stay there. <laughs> uh, no. Okay. Now, oh, just don't put your head back yet till I take that. Yep. Is that a good look? Away. Okay. Now you can put your head down for a sec. Well, yeah, I suppose so. Well, we actually go a bit closer than that, but we'll do that a bit later. Can you yeah, lift your okay. head up for me? That's it. Great. Okay. So what do you think? Did you have a look? No. Oh, he wants a proper look. <laughs> yeah, now I want a proper look. <laughs> Hey, that's She's cool. done a good job. That's cool. It gets a bit shorter than that. This, this, this could actually turn into a, like, an everyday kind of style. <laughs> okay, now what we're going to do now is just leave it like that. Yeah. Okay, and when you go to sleep, we'll, we'll shave it a bit closer okay. and wipe it over, okay? Right. So we'll concentrate on putting your drip in now. Mm -hmm. We've done that. We've done that. Need the surgeons. Okay. Where well, are the surgeons? Nicholas is a 25-year-old electrical engineering student who suffered uh, multiple injuries. He had quite a severe head injury with an acute subdural hematoma. That is, he had a collection of blood inside the skull that was pressing on his brain. And he really was in a very parlous state when he came in here and close to death. And because of the brain swelling, his craniotomy bone flap that is the part of the skull that we opened up to remove the hematoma was left out so that his brain would have room to swell because the swelling of the brain can often cause the death of patients with severe head injury. Just give me the scalpel again for a moment. This man actually has made a very good recovery and has come back now three months later to have the bone replaced. What we've got to do now is separate the scalp and the temporalis muscle, which is the chewing muscle on the side uh, of the temple, from the underlying dura. The dura is the covering of the brain, and then we can sit the bone flap right on top of the dura, which is where it's supposed to be. Quite a big defect, so it's going to take us a little while to do the dissection here. Usually the hardest part of the operation is to set them yourself. Okay. Ah! <gasps> Just done. Um, Just so we're going straight into that. Oh. Yeah. Okay, right in the centre. But that's beautifully placed. Fiction, that girl got the adrenaline shot into her heart. Yeah, the first oh, she, she didn't feel anything. It's going like that. <clears throat> no, I don't think it's it. Right, yeah. Another one bites the dust. They're not? Yeah. I should have thought of this earlier. What about this one? Can well, you reach that one? I can't get to it, see. I'm just... Uh... Oh, is it... Do you want to change positions? With you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice and good. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. Awesome. Tell me when you're ready again. Okay, I'm ready. Do you want another cold? No, it's still got some cold. It's, it? it's nicer than the cold. Okay. 
So well, if you get a chance there, you can rub my forehead too, if you want. <laughs> That's what they do on telly. True. They, they mop the brow they the do, too. Oh, they do, need a pretty blonde nurse for that. But oh, I can provide the blondness. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 well, where's oh, that? Where's that off to the no, head? That's further towards her head. Thankfully, it's the last time we're going to have to go through this before you have your baby. Mm, that would be great. Yeah, but if you can just bear with us, tell us when you want to have a pause for a while, but we're, we're doing very, very nicely. Very nicely. We've now dissected the scalp and temporalis muscle off, and what we're going to do is just drill some holes in the bone flap and secure the bone into position. Warmed it up. So here's the bone that was in the deep freeze. We've warmed it up by putting it in some warm ringer solution. And we're just going to have a look at how it's going to be positioned here. Mm. Looks pretty good. Mm. Irrigation, please. Okay, now. And hold it this side around here, and then you can do the other side. Oh, careful. Watch the fingers. Mm. And hold it really secure now. Mm -hmm. Just don't let it move. Okay, tie that front one. Let's clip and cut things. What we're doing now is just securing the temporalis muscle, reattaching it to the bone. Okay. We have some more sutures, please. And now we're in a position to close the scalp itself. Keeping you comfortable here, I trust. Oh, yes, they're looking after me very well. How long have you had arthritis? Uh, in my hands, like this, about nine years. Right, and you're how old now? 75. If that's not too embarrassing to ask. Oh, no, mm -hmm. doesn't worry me. And where's the arthritis mainly affect you? Mainly in my hands. Yeah, you don't have bad problems with knees or hips or shoulders? A bit with my knees but, uh, and, and a bit with my shoulders, but it's mostly in my hands. OK. What sort of things can't you do with your hand? I can't knit. I find a lot of little household chores difficult. Right. Even threading a needle. Is... Can you open a jar or...? Opening a jar is hard. I have uh, one of those gripper things to put on the top to help with it. Anyone to help you at home? No, I live on my own. You're on your own. So yeah. you get by? I manage. Do you understand what we're going to do for you? Yes, I understand you're going to take those ugly looking things out. And I would like to know what you're putting in. This is the little doodad we put in, which is designed to replace the joint surfaces, but it's not as sophisticated as your normal joint. But will it do the job? It, it does do? the job. And how much flexibility will I have? In the... it's, a, it's a bit variable. If you look at your hand now and straighten them out as far as you can. Not as far as they Okay, then make a tight fist and then move them back and forth. So I can move that one? That's, That's right, but... I can't move. Really, these, if I was generous, would move maybe 10 or 15 degrees mm -hmm. from where they currently lie. But the important part of the surgery is really restoring the tendon and ligament balance to have the fingers pointing in a more normal, normal. posture. The best of these may move 60 degrees or more, and that's <laughs> certainly a lot more than you have now. 
certainly different from my heart valves. My heart valves are piggy tissue. Oh. <laughs> Rather, uh, mm, yes, we don't use pig tissue for your knuckles, although we could get no. lots of pig knuckles. <laughs> um, Feel like the bionic woman. And if you're happy with this and this functions well, then there's a consideration at some times of dealing with your, your other hand. Do you have any other questions? No, I think you've covered everything pretty well. Okay. Uh, then I'll see you on Friday, bright and early. I'll be looking forward to it. Oh, you can smile. Sort of. <laughs> you can smile. Okay. See you later. She's, um, yeah, she's very Nick went home six days after his operation. <coughs> His condition continues to improve. Next week... Frustrating is a word I use quite a lot. <laughs> Heather hopes to be dealt a winning hand. Oh, once it's all done, there are so many things I'm hoping to be able to do, not just playing cards, but... I know, I just tried that with my eyes, but I thought I got sick. And an electrician with severe burns after a fuse box explodes. Your wife's on her way. She'll be here in about 20 minutes, okay? okay.